Hello and welcome to our daily devotional reading from the Vitality for Daily Living, authored by Prophet Daniel Ejako Afari. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of March, 2023. Our topic for today is personal growth. Our anchor scripture is taken from Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. I read, Do not let the book of the Lord depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Now, the inspiration. You receive knowledge by reading and meditation, and it must be your lifestyle. God, after Moses' death, promised to bless Joshua and to be with him in all his ways. However, he gave a condition to him to meditate on his word, the Bible. Studying and meditating the word day and night is a requirement for you to become successful. Failing to fulfill your part does not give God any obligation to bless you. Even salvation, which is free, doesn't come to you automatically unless you consciously repent and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior through prayer and believing with your heart. After you receive salvation, if you do not properly handle it with care, you can lose it. The Bible says, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 also says, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing and the forceful people lay hold of it. So you see, you can't just stay idle and expect God to do something for you. Jesus Christ is the word of God and all things are under his control. This means that all things are under the control of the word so studying to know the word and meditating on it is very vital in all your desire for total victory and successful living just reading scriptures does not produce faith but meditating on it consistently until it brings revelation is what releases faith paul admonishes timothy his son that the scriptures are able to make him wise. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. Wisdom is the anointing. Meditation can be likened to digestion. Until food is digested, it is of no value to the body. Until God's word is muttered, pondered upon, spoken thoughtfully, to yourself it produces no power the promises in the bible for you would not materialize without you reading and meditating on the word of god as a child of god the stability of your blessings is limited to what you know let us pray father with the help of the holy spirit let me study and meditate on your word day and night in the name of jesus christ amen to read the bible in one year for today please read joshua chapter 7 and chapter 8 and luke chapter 2 verses 25 to 52. god bless you